What's going on everybody? I am here with the legendary Juju Mufu and today I'm going to be teaching Juju how to do the Fable Chain Punch, a staple of Wing Chun. Stay tuned. Alright. That's good. That's good. You can change that little bit of a pivot. Yeah. Nice. You can change like that. Force see. there, man. Yeah, yeah. It's it good. It's the short it's like power. Hit, you're hitting me. All right, guys. So today I'm gonna be teaching Juji the chain punch. Juji's really strong, guys. In Taekwondo, right? Black yeah. belt. Yeah. Oh no! From your punching, you're probably more based in everything. power. So, yeah, exactly. Power and everything like that. So this time, yeah, yeah everything like is really here. extended. Full yeah, yeah. Now he would yeah. kill me from out here. Yeah. Because you know, his power and everything, I'd be dead. But you know, Wing Chun flourishes once you kind of get inside that, and you're like in this range. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you yeah. can shift a little bit with it, but at the end, it comes from like this yeah. sort of energy. And we say chain punch because it's you know, yeah. just always like right there. Give me fast, though. Give me fast. It's made to like cut in. Oh. You feel that? Like yeah. it's, it's kind of overwhelming. Like I said, a lot of people say, oh, it's not as strong. And of course it's not as strong as this. But it's a really weird technique that a lot of people aren't familiar with. Yeah. Basic chain punch is you're going to put your hand, just drop your uh, left hand into your center like this. So kind of just relax it. Yeah. And as right. you start the punch, you're just going to pretend there's a tabletop All right. Like right here. All you're right. just going to slide across that tabletop. It's right there, good. All right. Now the center line is what's important here. So you want to be like right in your spine. And you'll see like if I push your hand inside, you kind of lose the center and it feels yeah. bad. Yeah. You want to be just right there. See how good that feels? Yeah. A lot of people think it's kind of like the boxing speed yeah. bag thing, but it's yeah. not. It's each punch has to go in the same exact spot. Okay. If you're punching here, you don't want to come from above like that. Okay. You want to just drop this hand perfectly enough so that one can go in the same exact spot. And then that one too. So you're not, it's not like the circular thing? Yeah. Where it hurts people is it just, you know, hit them in the rib 20 times or something and yeah. really injure somebody. So does that make any sense so far? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, of course, the key is doing it fast. Yeah. Okay. The key to doing it fast is, it sounds strange, but it's more about being relaxed. Okay. So as you can see when I do it, I'll kind of unload a few and then kind of relax my spine. So it's kind of like, one, two, three, four. And I relax a little bit. You can only go so long, it's kind of like a deadlift or something, right? You can only use yeah. so many in a set before you're just, okay, I'm tight. You have this sort of explosion. What do you think so far? Do you have any questions? Yeah. Uh, Absolutely, hit me up. Can right? I so, practice on that seagull over there? Yeah. <laughs> Jump off! So close. Dude, I didn't, I'm like surprised falling. he got so close to That him, was weird. Man. It's New York City. Season. He went like this. <laughs> he's, used to, he's like, oh, he's good. He's, he's, just, he's still two oh, feet away. fantastic. If you can do it slow and deliberately, then you can do it fast without like using your muscle. Hitting the same exact spot. Yeah, there you go. Good. Do they just come straight back? Like yeah, this? so it's, it, it goes in a chain, so picture like it's always coming under. Oh, All right. There you go, yeah. So All it's right. always coming under itself. And like I said, it's just, you want to drop it just enough. So it doesn't hit your hand. You might even get a little like friction, and that's fine. Now the cool thing is, Juju has all this muscle, which is gonna kill somebody if he uh, <laughs> if he uses that plus that sort of relaxed power. And again, if Juju got like an opening, it would just blow someone to smithereens. They're like all that power in the close range with the chain punch. It'd be really cool. So so the one is always receding, goes under. So it's yeah. always boom. That one drops. Bam. Is you want to be back at the same time? Yeah. Why a lot of people fail is they go like, and then it's not it's not there at the same time. So it's always got to be boom. Yeah. Boom. Another weird thing about Wing Chun is we punch with the lower knuckles. Oh. Or not. So if you do that, it'll actually give you that little extra upward feeling. It'll uproot me if you do it low. Yeah. It's really interesting stuff. Uh, um, another thing about the chain punch is you don't actually want to push me away because you want to hurt me. If you want to push me, you can do like the one inch punch push and stuff and that's cool, but if you want to hurt somebody, yeah. you want to keep them right here so you can just pound on my face over and over again. Yeah. So that's sort of what the chain so punch is. So it's kind of striking and recoiling? Releasing the energy. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of like that as opposed to, you know, push. Yeah. Right? So if you push me, I go flying, but you want to just go, and I go, <laughs> So you want to break my nose, not like yeah. push me away. Yeah. So it's, it's really weird energy. Just a pop. Yeah. It's not something you really spam someone with once you have an opening because it's kind of like predictable. Yeah. But damn, is it just out of nowhere? It can really surprise people. So, exactly. Like that snap release, um, sort of Bruce Lee type thing you see as back fist, right? That's really what that is. So think about like releasing. Yeah. And then coming back with it. So it's yeah. really weird and you have a lot of muscle, so I'm sure it's hard for you to like, get into the center. Yeah. A little bit more than shoulders. 
<laughs> By the way, I want to say he's doing fantastic. So obviously his martial arts background, so it helps a lot and everything, but the key thing is being relaxed. Okay. So yeah, Juju's doing great. You want me to hold the bag for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's do it. All right. Yeah. Good. Good. Very good. Good. Very good. See, um, the good thing is, like, he could easily push me up like this, but he's releasing good. You see my hand is kind of pop? Yeah. That's what you want. That was my face. Again, it's, it's ow, and then you keep hitting me. He can just push me once, like with a kind of a big Superman punch, but then I'm gonna get to recover. Yeah. Like if a big haymaker thing, it's cool if he knocks me out, but if he doesn't, if he was to push me up against the rail here in real life, like push me, then come in and do the, <laughs> yeah, and throw me over the belt, it's very overwhelming. So a guy like Juji, if he was just cornering someone who, you really can't push Juji away, <laughs> then he just, you're just in trouble. How important is it to hit with these two knuckles? Because I'm um, probably asked, like taking a lot of focus to do that. Um, it's it's important because like it's it's for alignment wing chun. So you notice how you're punching in. Yeah. It's kind of like physically like one straight line. Yeah. Whereas here you see how it's up here and there's no like support behind these knuckles. It kind of yeah. like would hurt. So you punch there, you feel how it's just like very stable. Yeah. It goes all the way through. Um, so try if you, if you fail a little bit, don't worry about it. But just be careful of your wrist because like I said, it can get a little weird like right. that. You kind of snap your wrist. So just be careful. Good. Is it good to punch something downwards? Because I feel like it. Um, actually, try to uproot more. And like, it's kind of hard. It, I have to be like really down here, though. All right, all right. You want to go hold it higher? Good. Now with the Wing Chun stance, you can try to like sink into it too a little bit, yeah. kind of like, and put the weight back almost, like you're almost gonna tip over. Yeah. And then thrust like that, and you see how you yeah. feel. You feel pretty rooted. Yeah. Again, it's really weird. It's different from a horse stance, but yeah. um, you're doing good because I feel upward energy. Yeah, much better. You see how I'm kind of pushing back now? There you go. There you go. There you go. Then you want to advance with it too. Yeah. Eventually. Very, very good. Does really well with like. <laughs> you see how it kind of does really well with like a flourish of three or yeah. five. And then it's like, oh. Yeah. And again, in a fight, that's how I'd use it. And if someone's down there, just like finishing him off. You just like stomp that my. Yeah. Boom. Got me down. You could. Yeah. Just like that. And then chain punch the face. Yeah. Very, very dangerous. As you can see, head would be smashing on the on the ground. Yeah. So. <laughs> So how how far is the recoil here? Um, like, do I pull so all the way back here? Great or is question. It just like great question. So the better you are, you can do it short. Yeah. Because again, the implications are: what if we're in like a locker room and and I try to kill Juji? Yeah. And I've got like a knife. He can just put me in a locker and punch I me. Got a knife. He's got. A, <laughs> he can be able to generate power from this distance, and that's like the Bruce Lee one-inch punch. And that's that's sort of the point of <laughs> yeah, or like that. You can kind of get yeah. really close with it. Um, so that's the point of Wing Chun is you don't have to be like okay. Let's let's generate crazy power, which Juju's master of generating insane power, right? Um, this is kind of why it's given him such a good tool, because now if Juju gets stumped by someone, I'm here on you. I feel I feel uh, anointed now. <laughs> but no, now if Juju is in a tight space, he doesn't have to go get up, get out of here. I need my space to do my yeah. 540 kick to your face, you know. So it's cool. I mean, what do you think about it? Does it feel weird? It probably feels crazy, right? Yeah, I'm used to more like like one, one, right? You no, know, one thing now, at a time. The cool thing about this is it's like keeps going. Yeah, I guess going, that's why it's still a chain. It just keeps going. Yeah, exactly. You know, and like I said, it's overwhelming. Whereas it doesn't have as much power as Juji's Haymaker, which is gonna knock somebody's head off. Yeah. But what it does have is that overwhelming uh, pressure. And it does have. It's just a. It's a nuisance in my face, in my eyes, and you can't see because I don't. And the thing is, Juji, if you notice, you can't see the next one coming. Cause look, it's. Oh yeah. It's just there. It's just yeah. in your face. So again, it's not really made for a knockout. It's made for just pummeling someone, overwhelming them, or if their head's on the ground, you know. Just trashing them like that. So yeah, it's it's pretty crazy, right? Yeah, let's get the let's do it. I'll punch some more gloves. <laughs> Here, your turn. It's all good. <laughs> Chain punch with pads, everybody. You see what I mean? I'm pushing in with my feet, so I can be able to kind of move in as I go and see how I can press it. Be like, ah! and then move in. <laughs> but you see what I mean? You don't need to be. Yeah. Out here for that. It's kind of like Juju's tricks, right? It's, it's fun like, to watch. What is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun to watch. It's just hard to fathom how you do it, especially a guy like him. That's why I wanted to show him doing well, it. It's more technical like, than I thought it was, actually. It's very technical, because a lot of people think, again, it's kind of just this speed back, which that's cool. That's really impressive. But again, it's the fact that you're so in. I want Juju right there. Yeah. I want to just pound him with these things. So Let me hit some more. Yes, please. Yeah. It's definitely weird, weird, right? Yeah, no, it's <laughs> totally foreign from any martial art technique um, ever. Another, another in his body is totally different than mine. Yeah, he's got a lot more muscle. He's able to say, okay, maybe I can't get as like compressed as him because I have a massive lats or whatever. But I can like, <laughs> I can, uh, you know, he can change it in his own way. All right, let's go. Try it slower too. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Try it slow and then kind of increase the speed maybe. 
But again, the cool thing is, think of it like a battering ram, you know? Battering like, ram? Like that one point, you're just gonna destroy it. You know it's just this. Yeah. Eventually, it's gonna hurt, man. Oh, I got I you. you. like oh, all day. Oh, oh, I got it's you. It's gonna hurt. So, you know, imagine if you miss just like, oh, I can take that punch once. Yeah. Okay, how about 55 times? Very good. Very nice. Two. Two, two, two. two. Ah. Good. Ah. I can't wait <laughs> to like double up. You got it, you got it. It's hard, man. It's hard. Nice, nice. There you go, the back and forth. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's Yuchi Tech. Good. You ever just do singles? Yeah, you can. That's a good point. Um, you can do a single and then kind of use this, leave that there, and then yeah. replace it. What's I mean, this? You can do anything. That's called the Wu Sao, and yeah. it's um, it's almost like a boxing, you know, just sort of guard hand. This is the hand that's back there. Okay. So that's what's cool about defense of the, of the chain punch is like. A lot of people think, oh, it's so open, like you're just out there. But really, if you're doing it right, your hand always comes back. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. So even if you kind of, if someone's someone eating it and they kind of do this, you always have that hand there to kind of cover your face. Gotcha. You know? Yeah. And like I said, because of the cutting aspects of it, you're able to just sort of cut through different um, things Damn. as it goes, you know? I get you already. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? It, it's weird. Yeah. And a lot of other martial arts, if you just punch me, I would like, Oh, you know, smash his arm, you yeah. know, Taekwondo, it's like a lot, you probably do something like this, that's more karate. Yeah. But um, in Wing Chun, it's just, I want to like slide right in, like yeah. with, the, with the fingers and all that stuff. Yeah. What do you think? Any questions? No, it's fun. I want to do some more hits. Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> are your knuckles okay, dude? You're not getting too raw? Okay. Oh, yeah, they're getting a little red. So watch out. But they don't hurt. Okay. They don't hurt. Good. Good. Uh, tabletop. Yes, Here. and again, try to try to bring, I know it's tough because your musculature, yeah. but try and like, when you punch, this is like the idea, even though it's weird. Like, yeah. as you extend, try and bring it in more. Yeah. This? Very good, very good, yeah. Good. And try to put more of the tension in your legs. Ah. There you go. And then remember the thrust thing, your hips. Good, very good. Come on. Ah. There you go. <laughs> it's hard. A lot more powerful, of course. If he's using strength, it's going to tell your mouth faster, of course, yeah. too. So. One inch punch. We can teach you that too, if you know. Let's do like this. You could have, <laughs> yeah. but you don't have to do it a million times either. And that's the beauty of it. You can just be even one, two, and yeah. you're out of it. So that's sort of the beauty. Well, thank you for showing me. No problem, that's dude. cool. Yeah, it's, it's weird, weird, right? It's, yeah, it's I figured it's something totally new for you. So. Yeah, no, it is. It's, it's like, what the? <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. You know, we'll yeah. show you some more stuff as we go. Especially uh, this open stance, because in, in my martial art, everything's like this. Everything's sagging. They're trying, the, to, yeah. they're trying to reduce the amount of real estate you have to hit, mm -hmm. so you're protected. Whereas this, I'm like, what right. foot? Because your knees are in like that, you're protecting your groin. Yeah. Oh, I got and you. And you can just kick out or whatever. Yeah. And it's more based on like, if someone's going for a big kick, you just kick me in the nuts. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's in the stance. Oh, okay. It's dirty. It's like military yeah. stuff more than like MMA. Any more questions? No, thank you. Thank Perfect, you man. All right, so hey guys, so thank you so much for watching. Check out Juju's channel. Um, if you don't know who he is, look at him. You can imagine some of the stuff this guy does: uh, martial arts, acrobatics, deadlifts. He's awesome. So check him out. Here's his channel link. And there's a the backflip. <laughs> <laughs> you probably thought he couldn't do that. After, uh, after what? <laughs> Yeah, awesome. that's easy. This is <laughs> this is actually pretty technical, hard. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So awesome stuff, guys. Uh, thank you, Gigi. Thanks so much for being Thank on, you, dude. Yeah, really enjoyed it. And there's a new skill set. If uh, I don't know, if you ever need it, you're in like a locker room. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs>